Hi everybody, Martin the Flick and Feathers again today and I'm tying a very simple but very effective uh, shuttlecock emerger, so leaf pheasant tail pattern. As always I will put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, that's all very appreciated. Right, so I just uh, ran my thread through the wax three times there, so it's nice and sticky, good bit of grip. And I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 12 Camazan B170, although tie these and other sizes, um, I carry them in my still water, or like my lock style box, my reservoir boxes. 10s to 14s, but you can all, I mean, you can get right down to an 18, especially if you're fishing small waters or you're using them on a river. So I've run on this 8-aught uni and camel. Use any sort of tan or brown thread. And I've just run it on about a third of the shank and I've come back, so it's a head length behind the Aye, so about a mil and a half, two mil maximum. And I've just got a bunch of CDC, and I've just there's four. I've got four feathers here for my size twelve, and I've lined up the tips of the feathers, and I'm just going to tie these in. And I think I usually take like about the shank. Um, the hook is my sort of starting point for a shuttlecock out over the eye something like that now that's obviously enough to float it but sometimes you know the fish will maybe come up and refuse and what have you like you, you might want to trim this back if you're confident that the body's the right size um, but you can do that on the water so come up and I'll cut my waist pieces off at an angle to get a wee taper and there's my next fly right the cut CDC is fine for um, your dry flies you don't you don't need to worry about that it's got a kind of square edge or whatever it's not really seen by the fish so now I've got plenty of grip because I waxed that thread there. So I know that's well secured and now I'm going to catch my rib and I'm using an extra small wire. It's the UTC stuff so it's very very fine. And I'm just using gold. You can use a different colour if you want. In fact I would say that this fly, I mean it's, it's dead simple but it's really easy to change up the colours. You can like, you can use goose dyed olive, you can use pheasant tail, hen pheasant dyed yellow is a nice olive colour, black pheasant tail, and then change the dubbing at the thorax as well, add a wee hot tap, whatever. It's a, it's a really good sort of basic, skinny, simple shuttlecock pattern that you can adjust the colours and all that. So the body I'm using just natural pheasant tail on this one. I've got five or six fibres here and I'm just cut them with a loose wrap, taking them right in to the tips. And I'll just tie everything off and I'm com coming forward and touching turns with my thread, right? I went down and touching turns, tying in that wire and I'm coming up and touching turns. The underbody, right, you need to think about your underbody if your underbody is no smooth and it's all rough and there's gaps then the pheasant tail is not going to sit for you and it's got to be all lumpy and, and you know your flies not got to look good it's going to be less durable as well so again for a wee bit more durability I'm going to put on a very small amount of super glue and I put it on the top and the bottom of the shank there very very light layer and I'm going to wrap this towards myself 
I'm going to let the fibres lie separate and lie flat. Right, you're not twisting the rope. Each individual fibre is lying flat and hitting that glue. When you get to the front, catch that on the hook, and then take a wrap onto the bear hook over the material. One of the bear hook, one of the material, one of the hook, and that really locks that in. Two or three is enough. Just trim that away. Now, there you go. Nice, even body. The rib I'm going to come up, and I'm going to use more than the usual four or five. I'm going to take about six, probably or seven. And you can get away with it. Um, I know some folk have got like weird issues about like, oh, you're adding wire. The, the the amount of weight that you're adding here is so little that it's no worth even thinking about. Let's see, I've just got a wee bit of pheasant tail there. Just take it away. Right, now the fly's nearly done. Just a wee but a dubbing and I don't think it's that important what you use here. I'm using grey squirrel, but here's here or any any of the wee natural dubbing. That's a grey browny colour that they've all got. It's fine. Or as I said earlier you could put a wee you could change the colour. You could use a, a bright dubbing. That's enough. I'll just take that away. But I would say though, quite often we get hung up, caught up on adding and adding and adding, you know, legs and flash and hot spots and all that. And a lot of times these wee simple flies are actually better, you know. Um, just lift that wing, put a whip finish in. And I'll do another one. There you go. Wrong one. Let's use this. Put a wee blob of varnish on the underside there. Come up, then just make sure the eye is clear and your fly is done. Dead simple, dead easy, right, I mean, right, eight minutes and have a deal, but you tie this in about three. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Hit lines guys, bye.